expanding the business. Now that we are thinking about the long-term potential of the business and what we want to do, expansion be, should be on top of your mind. However, when it comes to expansion, not everything is equal. There is organic growth and then there are acquisitions. If you're not familiar, organic growth is when we refer to expanding the business by increasing sales through existing operations, launching new products, or entering new markets. It's generally slower, but it's more sustainable and involves less financial risk than acquisitions. And there's a few different ways that we can actually create organic growth. And they're here below. We're going to go through each of them. First is increasing market share. You can focus on capturing a larger share of your existing market by improving customer service, offering more products, or marketing more effectively. You can also expand to new markets. You can consider expanding into new geographic regions or targeting a different customer segment. You can research new markets carefully to ensure they align with your business's strengths and resources. You can undergo a product line expansion. Here you'll introduce new products or services that complement your existing offerings and that can help you reach new customers and increase sales. You want to be sure to conduct market research and assess demand before launching new products. And then number four is digital and technological growth. Leveraging technology such as e-commerce platforms or data analytics can help you grow your business by improving customer engagement, streamlining operations, and expanding your reach online. So if you're thinking about organic growth, these are the past ways that are available for you. However, if you want to grow inorganically, that's a great option too, and that's typically done through acquisitions. Growth through acquisitions involves buying other businesses to expand your market presence, diversify your offerings, or gain access to new customers. This strategy can result in really rapid growth, but it also increases financial and operational risk. And there's different types of acquisitions that you can, com you, you can conduct. The first are strategic acquisitions. Here you identify companies that complement your existing operations. For example, acquiring a competitor can increase your market share while acquiring a supplier can help you streamline your supply chain. Vertical integration. Consider acquiring businesses within your supply chain to reduce costs or increase control over the production process. This can involve purchasing suppliers, distributors, or retailers that are integral to your operations. And third, you want to make sure that you conduct due diligence in acquisitions appropriately because there's so much risk. As with your own acquisition, thorough due diligence is essential when buying other businesses. So you want to ensure the target company's financials, operations, and culture align with your strategic goals.